Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are stuck in the home office because it's raining outside. I apologize, but it is what it is. Today's topic is how to convert from tenths to inches and from inches to tenths and what it all means and how it's interconnected. And it seems a little complicated at first, but really once we kind of drill down into it, it's actually pretty simple to convert between the two. So the first thing we want to talk about is what is a tenth? A tenth is simply one tenth of a foot. So what does that mean? Well, let's take one foot and put it up on the screen and we're gonna divide that by 10. And you'll probably remember from elementary math that you take that decimal and you move it over when you divide by 10. So one tenth is 0.10 feet. That's a tenth, simple. So what does that mean from an inches standpoint? Well, we know that one foot is equal to 12 inches. So let's replace our one foot with 12 inches and we're gonna divide that by 10. We move that decimal over and you find that a tenth equals 1.2 inches. Well, now we have our conversion factor. Now we can convert back and forth between tenths and inches. It's a very simple process. So for our first example, we're gonna take 6.4 feet. So we're going from tenths and we're going to convert to inches. So 6.4 feet, we're gonna drop the six. So now we're working with four tenths and we're gonna multiply that by 1.2 inches per tenth. That gives us 4.8 inches or roughly five inches. So 6.4 tenths is actually equivalent to six feet, five inches. For our next example, we're gonna complicate it a little bit more. We're actually gonna add a second decimal spot for hundredths because it's very common to have hundredths. We, we actually use hundredths in the construction industry. So let's take the example of 7.75 feet. We're gonna drop our seven feet because that doesn't matter. Now, how many tenths do we have? We have 7.5 tenths, because we're now just talking about tenths. So we're gonna take 7.5 tenths and we're gonna multiply that by 1.2 because that's how many inches are in a tenth. So we get nine inches. So 7.75 feet is actually seven feet and nine inches. Now, I kind of take a step back from the math and everything and think about it. We've got 7.75 feet. So that's seven and three quarters feet, right? Because three quarters turned into decimal form is 0.75. So we have three quarters of a foot. Well, three quarters of a foot is nine inches. So it's very easy to check yourself on something where it works out even like this. But the big thing I wanted to show you is we can move the decimal once we get the foot out of there and we're just talking about tenths, you can move your decimal over so that you have even round tenths and the decimal stands for your hundredths and you can convert that over to inches very easily. Okay, for our next example, we're gonna go the opposite direction. We're going to go from feet and inches and convert that over to tenths. So let's take the example of eight foot, seven inches. We need to get that over to tenths. So the first thing we're gonna do, you guessed it, we're gonna drop the eight feet off of there. We don't need it for now. So seven inches, what is that equivalent to in tenths? Well, we know that there are 1.2 inches in every tenth. So we're gonna take our seven inches and we're gonna divide by 1.2. That gives us 5.83 tenths. Now remember, we're talking about tenths here, not feet. So we need to remember that we have to move that decimal over so that we can mate it back to our feet. So we actually have, we're gonna drop the three off of the end. So we have 5.8 tenths, but then we move that decimal over and put our foot back on it. We actually have 8.58 feet. So now we're gonna do a couple examples where I don't walk you through it. I'm gonna throw the problem up on the screen. You get the answer and I'll give you a couple seconds. You can pause the video and then I'll give you the answer. So the first one we're gonna do is moving from inches to tenths. We're gonna do four foot, two inches. What is that in tenths of a foot? All right, so what did you get? The answer should be 4.17 feet. How did I get there? Well, first we're gonna drop the four off because four feet is four feet. And we're gonna take our two inches and we're going to divide that by 1.2. That should give you 1.67 tenths. So we're going to change that to 1.7 tenths. We'll round up. And then we need to move the decimal over and add our feet. So 4.17 feet. Okay, so for our next example, we have 11.83 feet and we need to figure out how many inches that is. Go. 
All right, the answer you should have gotten should be 11 foot 10 inches. How did I get that? Obviously take the feet off of there. So now we've got 0.83 tenths. We know there's 1.2 inches for every tenth, so we're gonna multiply that by 1.2, and that should give you 9.96 inches, which in my world is close enough to call it 10 inches. So 11 foot 10 inches. All right, our third example. You have 14.13 feet. We need to get that over to inches. Go. All right, so there's two possible answers depending on how you want to round this one. It could be 14 feet, one and a half inches, or if you want to round up a little bit, because we don't need to be that hyper accurate, you can get 14 foot, two inches. So how did I get there? Well. As always, drop the 14 feet. You now have 1.3 tenths. There's 1.2 inches in every tenth. So we multiply those two out. That should give you 1.56 inches, which is one and a half inches, or we can round it up to two inches. So now you have 14 foot, one and a half inches, or 14 foot, two inches. Our final example, we're gonna start with inches and we're gonna go to tenths. What is two foot, six inches converted over to tenths? Go. All right, you should have gotten two and a half feet, which in the grand scheme of things, when you step back, well, of course, six inches is half of a foot. So you've got two and a half feet, 2.5 feet. But let's go through the math just so you see how we do it. So we take our two feet, six inches, we drop off our two feet. Now we have six inches. You divide that by 1.2, that should give you five. So that's five tenths. So couple it back up with our feet, you have 2.5 feet. So I hope this has been helpful in kind of getting your brain going in the right direction when it comes from converting to tenths to feet. I would highly recommend you do some practice problems. Just totally pluck some numbers out of the air. Remember your conversion factors. It's really not that hard or that complicated to go back and forth between tenths and inches. It just takes a little practice of getting your mind to go down that avenue. So I hope this has helped you out. I hope it's kind of made this a little less confusing for you. If you've got any questions, as always, drop a comment down below. I'm happy to help you out. And if you got something out of this, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell so you get notified when I post a new video, and we'll see you on the next video.